Have you ever wondered how you would cope if the life that you knew fell apart? So today we talk with Kim Morrison, founder of 28, who used her darkest moments as the leverage and inspiration to create a flourishing business and a national movement of women transforming their lives with self-care. So Kim, how did you come up with the inspiration behind 28? Look, I think it's been a life journey and something that I was always attracted to was beautiful skincare using oils and all those sorts of things because at the age of 19, I got introduced to aromatherapy and then used the oils in a very powerful way to set a world record um, in my ultramarathon running days. And it was from there that I also had a skin condition and I used the oils to heal that. So for me, from the age of 19, they became a very big part of my life. So you've gone on a bit of a journey from when you were 19 to now and you've hit some challenges along the way. Tell us what's been some of your biggest challenges and some of your biggest highs to get you here today. Oh, I wish I could say life was just smooth sailing, but I have really come to understand that there is not one person on this planet that has a smooth sailing life, not one. Mm -hmm. So it's a fallacy or a, a silly ideology to think that it could even be of, of that nature. So for me, some of the big things was um, at the time that I was about to launch 28 uh, and our book Like Chocolate for Women, we self-published this book and it, you know, I had all this money invested into a financial institution, went to withdraw it and within that same week the whole institution collapsed. So we lost everything, everything financial, we lost our house, we lost everything. And it was at that moment when I was on my bathroom floor that I really had to ask myself, um, is it worth it? You know, is this what, it, maybe this is a sign that I shouldn't be doing this. And my son, he was 10 at the time, I was lying on the floor in my bathroom and he just looked at me and he went, what is your problem? And I said, Jacob, it doesn't matter, you won't understand. I just can't breathe, I, I can't cope with your father. I've lost grandma, we've lost all our money, please don't even talk to me. And he turned around and he said, yeah, well, you've got to remember what you've always told me and that is never, ever give up. And I thought, fuck, I hate it when they listen to you. <laughs> and I just looked at him and he goes, the problem with you, mum, is you've got to remember that like Chocolate for Women in 28 is a massive diamond sitting in the middle of a massive mountain. And the problem with you right now is you're trying to get to it with nail clippers. And I remember looking at him going, what? You and he did. goes, <laughs> and then he goes, you got to tell me if you don't give up, like you've always told us never give up, get up and just know that at the moment you're going to get more and more people attracted to you. They're going to come with spades and diggers and we're going to hack into that mountain. And if you promise me, mum, look at me, mum. And I just looked at him and he goes, if you never give up, I promise you at some point, someone's going to hand you the TNT dynamite stick and we're going to push that mother of a thing and the mountain's going to explode and the diamond is there that you already know is in there. And then your job is to go out there and show everybody else their diamond by being the shining example. I, I just remember looking at him going, Jacob, you're 10, where did you get that from? And he just looked at me and he goes, well actually, it's this really cool PlayStation game <laughs> and I was wondering if I could get it. One of the things that I love that you say is self-care isn't selfish, it's essential. Tell us a little bit of the philosophy behind that. Well, I think as women, we're very good at giving. And I think if we really look at it, we have an unbelievable knack of giving to others and children and pets and cars and businesses and everything, but we're not very good at receiving. And it's that real thing of putting ourselves to the top of the list so that we can give more and rather than becoming a martyr and thinking that no one else is going to do it for us and nobody's thinking about me and it's not fair. Rather than going into that pity party that we tend to do at times, I really believe that self-care is one of those things that if we can top our own tank first, then we have even more to give. And that's why I love oils. It's a way of doing something pleasant, something pretty and something feminine in that moment to bring me back and make me realise that, okay, I can get through the next moment, the next hour, the next day. 
So you've launched 28, which is a skincare and aromatherapy oils. So tell us a little bit about your whole range because it's lush and, and everyone needs to have 28 in their cupboard. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's a range that's for the no faff woman. So I don't have time in my bathroom to be putting masks on and indulging and doing all that. So there's only eight products in the range. I really worked hard to come up with a range that worked but also had oils in it and again the oils that I chose to put in the products um, affect us emotionally so people don't realise when they're cleansing with this cleanser there's also detoxifying oils in there that also help detox the negative thoughts, maybe get rid of the day and all that sort of thing. And then I made up 12 oil blends because I know people love oils but they never know which blend goes with what. So I thought well I'll make you up 12 blends that you can use instant calm or energy and vitality or peace and meditation or maybe immune boost. So And that romance and intimacy. Well let's talk about that <laughs> shall we. So let's just say that not always are we in the space to want to put out. Um, so I created a blend of oils that would help enhance the mood. Um, and the body lotion that I created, I had someone email me back and go, oh my gosh, this should be called KY2. <laughs> you don't have to be a movie star to, to feel like you can change things around or that you have to be someone better. Just play with your personality, play with who you are. And I guess for me, that's why I teach the body boosters. Let's do it from the minute we get out of the shower. Let's look in that mirror and say, damn girl, you are hot. And even if you don't feel hot, we know energetically and mindfully that when you say something positive, vibrationally, you have a different effect and a different mindset in that moment. It's, it's proven scientifically, so I'm not just saying anything wah wah here. Just making crap up. <laughs> and no way. So for those who want to start incorporating organics into their life, how do they go about that? I think what's important is you've got to research it. Don't believe everything on the front of a label. Turn the label over. Make sure that you look for ingredients that are questionable and make sure that you, if you don't know what it is, Google it because the Beautiful Environmental Working Group, you can go on to, on to Google and search them, put that ingredient in and it'll tell you in a rating whether or not it's considered safe or not. Um, and then go for companies with a good strong ethos, people that really do say what they're about and are transparent. That would be my ultimate um, encouragement and education around that. So what's next for uh, 28 and your organics range? Well, I'm really excited because um, we, we're on our path to organic certification. But out of people wanting to know more, I've created my dream, which was on my bucket list in my mid-20s, was to create an online education program. So I've created a 16-week modular online education program called the Health and Lifestyle Educator, where we go into aromatherapy very deeply the whole way throughout it. But we look at it from an essential oil, a skincare, personal home care, um, cleaning, living exercise, nutrition, and then personalities and business and the energy around money. So there's this whole program program touching on all the facets that women do tend to play out in their lives and how do we find quick go-to tools and remedies to help us be the best version of us. Do you believe that women can have it all and if so what does having it all mean to you? Totally. I mean, what totally, all is your definition of all. My all is the greater good of all. So I have no problem in saying I want it all because I know when I've got it all, I can give it all. All to me encompasses everything from the spirit to the soul, to the physicality, to the energy, to the nutritional, to the exercise, to the beauty. I mean, I do have it all. Mm. Even in my darkest moments, I have it all. Because even in my darkest moments, there's women out there wishing they had my problems. So having it all is being the true, absolute version of who you are in that moment. That's having it all. So tip number one would be, the minute you get up, I would be looking at having my lemon water. So either squeeze half a lemon into a glass of water or drop a one drop of lemon essential oil into a glass of water and down that. Tip number two, look at doing your body boost. So every morning after you've hopped out of that shower, make sure you put on your beautiful blends, whether it's a moisturizer, use your favorite oil, and address the whole body, because it's the whole body that deserves your full attention. Number three, if you haven't done it already, get down and do a wad, a workout of the day, whether it's 10 press-ups, 10 sit-ups, 10 um, you know, tricep dips, just something that has your body know that it can move with ease and that it's worthy of at least a couple of minutes of a morning in some form of functional exercise. 
Number four, eat close to the natural source. So make sure whatever food you're putting into your body is as close to nature as possible. Get rid of all your packets out of your fridge and freezer and pantry and go for two poached eggs on a bed of spinach with some avocado. Beautiful combination of amazing, real fresh foods. And number five, be kind. Always be kind with your words, the way you speak to your children, your family, your friends, your workmates. Just be conscious of being kind and you've set yourself up for an extraordinary day. So if you could go back and give yourself, your 15 year old self some advice. Don't get a perm. <laughs> Do not do that perm and don't do that home blonde colour. Um, <laughs> probably the one thing I would say is that you are going to come up against challenges, there's no doubting it, but just know part of the challenges is part of the growth. I wish I'd got that early because every time I saw a challenge, sometimes I will be honest, I thought I was a failure. As I've got older, I've realised that failing, there's no such thing as failing. It's actually an opportunity to find out something deeper and more grand in you and see what else you can give to the world. That every failure or challenge is an opportunity for you to dig deeper. I grew up in Auckland. The first thing I do when I wake up is <gasps> pee. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> if, I could do, if I could be better at anything, it would be everything. You know, I'd love to be better at everything. Most people don't know that I have two tattoos. <gasps> really? Yes. Where? On my butt. Are you serious? Yeah. I was checking out your butt before I didn't see him. Oh, I had it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was growing up, I wanted to be Madonna. <laughs> you just like the pointy boots. Yeah. And ladies, didn't you? Yeah. I couldn't live without my husband and my children. My greatest achievement is launching a business when I had no money. <laughs> And where can everyone find 28? 28.com, the word 20 and the number 8. So we called it 28 because we know it takes 28 days to create a habit. So I always say to people, use the range or any range for 28 days straight so that your skin has time to adjust to that. We know skin cells take 28 days to rejuvenate and regenerate. We're governed by 28 day cycles, where it be it the moon or the tide or the sun, and all of those cycles are 28 days. And it's funny, like I know, you know, our friendship over the years, everything seems to revolve around the, the number 28. You know, we, we've been in the world together, you know, there's that 28 pops up all the time. So it's your definitely your sign and your label, isn't it? Totally, mm. totally. Well, thanks for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. It's such a treat. Thank you. Thanks for watching I Inspire by iStyle TV. Don't forget to subscribe to iStyle TV on YouTube, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram to find out how you could win your very own 28 Aromatherapy Starter Pack. I'm Tam Wrigley and we'll see you next time. Hang on, do you need the whole... <laughs>